All right, my friends. So I'm at Jones Beach and things are fantastic over here. Really beautiful. It's a little bit of an overcast day, but you know what leaders do? They go outside and they lead. They take leadership. It is said that either you're a leader or you're not a leader. Just think about this. Look how beautiful this is. A day to be at the beach, to enjoy being a human being. You know what I mean? Nobody's stopping anybody. I think when we approach everything friendly and positively, uh, then we could actually, by proposing solutions. So let me, let me put it to you this way. I would say best thing that we could do right now in the, in the world in order to fix things, it's called a constructive criticism. I think something could be done better and we should ask for that to be done and I think everything could be solved that way. Just human beings treating each other like human beings. I mean, call it common sense, but like, we're all really one. We're one race, we're the human race. You know what I mean? But just think about it like this. You know how we know we're one? Because we could all have babies between each other. That's one of the most beautiful things. Baby lives do matter. They really do. So my message today, a little bit before 4th of July, is for us to collectively brainstorm, to come up with new ideas, new opportunities for things to be different. You know what is said, be the change you want to see in the world. Talk about being the guy that, are you the guy that brings the champagne to the party or the girl? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Are you gonna be the person that brings the champagne to the party if you love champagne, especially if you know about champagne, you know about good champagne and best champagne? Wouldn't that be an amazing gift to the people you're gonna share the champagne with? I mean, I mean, the guy that's like, why are people even fighting? Why doesn't everybody just get together, drink some champagne, enjoy life, call out freedom, and know that nobody can force you to do anything against your will. I mean, common sense is just like ridiculous. Here, put on this mask that suffocates you that has been tested in at least three videos I saw where the levels of carbon dioxide within the mask are off the roof and the, and the machine yells out loud. And my friend made actually a good point. He said, but you know, forget the point is, it must have not been such a good point. So basically put, take charge, take command. And what it is, another thing is responsibility. How do you know somebody owns something if they take responsibility for it? Really, like, you know, think about it. Who is the guy that's staying in a house making sure that everything is taken care of as if you were the owner himself? That's you. But then again, just common sense. Let's get back to common sense. Let's put out ideas about freedom, about being better about free communication between human beings that creates an even more abundant universe because the biggest lie, the biggest lie they tell us is that everything is not infinite in, the, in full abundance for everybody at all times. Why do you ask? Because everything is perfect. Talk to my homeboy Lao Tzu of the Tao Te Ching. Really good book. There's a lot of great books. That's one of the things that might be really good for all of us is to read more books, create a library uh, that people would like, you know? I believe in people taking charge and creating their own libraries, their own communities, their own commonwealths. Commonwealth, just think about it like this, right? Imagine what a commonwealth is to me. To me, it's like a giant warehouse with markets and warehouses where you could safely store, travel, 
and buy and sell goods and services at the best prices they make the best sense for everybody that don't need to be ruled don't, don't need to be managed but they actually get managed by the free market the free market provides so for example if somebody sees that their product or service is selling they're just gonna do more of it and if they're nicer about it and they're really fantastic they're gonna get all the business in the world so it's like the 80 20 rule that that 20 percent of business that gets 80 percent of the money maybe you want to be one of those but the idea is to just follow all the good things and drop the bad things that's what i've been following my life in that you meet different people with different ideas and if you have the ability to discern process them around in your head open up your mind and search and research and do some google searches online you could actually find out all this stuff is true and imagine like this imagine you work woke up in a horrible dream where the tap water gets put deadly fluoride in the water it's been in, in most of Europe eliminated so and there are so many studies there are scientists I could throw an entire book at you it's a tome of testimony but it's still in our water we have a world where they're trying to tell us gotta wear a mask everybody's the same here wear this there was a country a long time ago that made somebody wear a symbol to uh, designate them part of that group. I'm a free human being. And I stand behind my own actions of being a good person, of trying to come up together with the truth by researching, by enjoying life and just thinking. But that's one of those things though is that when there are people that lie to you over and over again and have been proven to be liars either listen to them less or verify at least minimum verify everything needs to be verified original clips need to be watched different three different four four different articles need to be read because a lot of people have different agendas and ideas so i'm going to tell you my agenda my agenda is freedom freedom for the world 1776 worldwide that's my mission, that's my agenda. 1776 worldwide. We are champions, we are winners, we command and we lead. All we gotta do is just take leadership, take ownership. These are our commonwealths. These are our commonwealths. It's our wealth. And we will do with it as we will. Without coercion. Period, I mean, does any more need to be said? But I'm gonna leave you on the lighter note, is that it doesn't take the majority. The tireless minority in the world have always won when their ideas were correct and they were in line. But all I say is, before July 4th, is let freedom ring!